In today's video for Alpha Universe, I'm gonna walk you through the steps that you need to take to sync up your Sony Radio Commander with your Sony Flash. Doing this is gonna allow you to take your flash off of your camera's multi-interface shoe and use it off camera to give you some additional creative options. We're gonna start off first by setting up our flash. In this case, I've got the Sony HVLF 60RM, but the process is the same using their other radio control flash, the HVLF 45RM. First things first, we're going to turn on our flash and click on the FN or function button. Using the circular dial, we'll push down and highlight the WL off option. Pressing the button in the center of the dial will select that and give us a few different options. By default, it's turned off, but we're going to want to have this flash set up to communicate with our radio commander. To do that, we'll select the RCV or receiver option. With that turned on, the flash will be able to operate as a radio controlled flash, but we're not done yet. Next, we'll turn on our radio commander and press the menu button. You'll want to arrow down to where it says pairing and select that. Then select add. The screen should then say that it's waiting to pair up with another device. Now we'll do the same thing on our flash. We'll press the menu button and then arrow over in the menu until we see the option that says pairing. It'll then prompt you and ask if you want to start pairing. We'll select OK and if everything worked, you should get a new prompt on screen that says that the flash is paired with the FAW RC1M, which is the model number for the Radio Commander. When the flash and Radio Commander are paired up, you'll see the link light change to green on both devices. Now if you press the test button on your radio commander, your flash should fire, letting you know that the pairing process is complete. At this point, you could take your radio commander and put it onto the multi-interface shoe of your Sony camera. Depending on the model of camera you're using, you'll need to enable wireless flash on your camera. On my Sony Alpha 9.2, for example, I'll go into the menu and look for the option that says wireless flash and turn that on. This option might be in a different location depending on the Sony camera that you're using, so be sure to refer to your camera's manual to see exactly how to enable that with your camera. Once you've done this, your flash is now ready to be used off camera. You could take your flash and use something like this speed light holder to connect soft boxes, umbrellas, or whatever kind of light shaper that you'd like to use. Now that we've set up the foundation for how to set up our off-camera flash with our camera, we're ready to start going into some creative setups that we can use for our portrait work. As I prepare that video, I'd love to hear what kind of questions that you have about lighting in general. Let me know that in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to make sure that I add that and address it in that video. Until then, if you wanna learn some new portrait photography techniques, be sure to check out one of the videos that you see here on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to the Alpha Universe channel before heading over, and I'll see you on the next video.